Hi there, okay, I thought I'd make a video um, to show people um, how to repair um, the Yamaha PW um, electric bike system when what seems to be a really common problem I found on the internet is where the actual display, which is in the centre of the bike, in a crash that gets pulled off and basically what it does, it kind of it kind of breaks the plastic back here where it actually joins on to the main kind of shoe that holds the display it's this display this is the PW not the PWX um, now the problem is is when it shears off what seems to be the problem uh, is that it pulls the wires off as well and nobody knows where the wires go now, if I'd have known, I could have probably fixed it with a bit of super glue and stuff, but instead, what I had to do was to buy the entire system with the actual controller, and then the shoe thing, and then the wire that goes down into the motor on the bike. Um, so, I thought what I'd do, because I'm guessing this could happen again, is I'm going to take this off and have a look which wire goes where because I think for other people that's going to be useful. Now the camera on my phone is making the brown and the orange look very similar but going from left to right there the colours actually are brown, red, black, orange and that relates to these four here. So that is brown, red, black, orange. Now I think armed with that knowledge, a lot of people can fix their displays for the price of a bit of super glue. If you don't want to do that, uh, I'll leave a link to order the actual part down below and I'll show you how to fit it to the bike. Okay, so uh, taking off these parts here is just as easy as you would expect, just uh, same as any other handlebar type uh, mounting you can see here where where the uh, wires got ripped off which is uh, unfortunate um, I am going to repair this though so I've got a spare um, using the um, knowledge that I now know where the wires go anyway with the bike upside down the first task is to take off the four bolts there so I'll do that first Okay, so to get to the relevant wires, what I had to do was just uh, just pull the chain off the chain wheel for a bit. Uh, you do need to take these screws out from this uh, this guard thing because they screw into the frame here and here. Uh, and then there's three large bolts that hold the motor in that you need to take out as well. Uh, and that's about it really, and then you can just lift the motor out and you've got access to the cables here. Now the one you want is obviously, uh, I've just disconnected it, but um, it's this one here. You can see the old red, brown, orange and black wires. And this is the only wire that goes up the down tube uh, up to the top here. And what I've done, I just took that um, Allen, Allen screw out of this bit here just so I could pull that out. and. Um, I'm just going to thread the new bit through. Uh, what I think I'll do is tie a piece of uh, string. Uh, actually, I haven't got any string. I'm going to use a piece of elastic. I'm going to tie a piece of elastic to that, pull it through so it comes through that hole down there. And then I can pull the new one through. Or the new one back up, rather. So I'll do that now. Okay, so that's uh, tied onto there now. So uh, I can basically pull that back through. I think I can, anyway. Uh, pull that back through the frame. Uh, pop that through in the old. There you go. Now pull it carefully up, up here. There it is. Okay, that's good. Uh, so I can reconnect that now. Put it all back together. Okay, so that's all back together now. It's obviously just a matter of putting the the brackets back on there and the controller there. Uh, this kind of cable tie type stuff, it's very obvious, you just sort of like wrap it round the cable and it's you know holds everything kind of neatly in place. Okay, so I've got the battery back on it, so a moment of truth now. So, look at the display, 
and come over here, power on, that looks good, and just check the uh, mode change alright, yeah that's all good, and check the selector switch works, yeah that all looks fine, okay so that's a bike repaired, I was just looking at this actually, I was thinking, I think what I should do you know, is move this back, so this is like almost next to this bit here really because that's sticking out too far because I think what happened was uh, when it hit the ground I mean, my daughter was riding it and I think the handlebars turned like that and it hit the ground here and that's where it sheared off the bracket so I think if I move those back so that this is a lot further back I think that'll be much less likely to break in the future so I might just do that now okay so I've adjusted that right back now and uh, you can see it's uh, Probably quite a bit more protected, you know. I mean, if the bike was to get land on the floor there, it could just save it. Um, just while I was adjusting it, I'll just show you. So, obviously, you need to slacken off that Allen key there, that Allen bolt there. It's just a 3mm Allen, that one there as well. And to m tilt it, there's just one bolt that goes all the way through. You see on the other side, there's just a kind of like end cap thing there. So if you can't move it, obviously what you need to do is to take that out quite a bit and then slacken these off and then kind of pull them apart a little bit because that's on a kind of ratchet type, you know, locking type thing. Uh, but you'll, you'll get what I mean, just slacken everything off and then you'll be able to position it in a much better position like that. And I think, I think that's going to be much, much better. I just wish I'd done it before. Okay. All right, so uh, yeah, everything works good. Uh, that's about all there is to say, really. Uh, I will leave a link to the parts in the description of the video below. And uh, yeah, ride safely, have fun. And uh, if you've enjoyed this and found it useful, please like and subscribe. I do lots of videos about various things, and some might be of interest, some might not. All right, cheers then, bye.